And today, thousands of cross-country runners from five different states, five different places, took part in Nike cross-country regionals of the Midwest section. It's an event that officials say brings in plenty of revenue for the Family Sports Center and nearby businesses in Terre Haute. Terry Craig attended today's cross-country events, and he's here with more. Terry. Over 2,500 runners and thousands of visitors flooded into Laverne Gibson Cross Country Course in Terre Haute. You cannot find a hotel room in, in Terre Haute uh, last night. It, uh, I would tell you this is well over half a million dollars of impact to our community. It's a wonderful event. You have people from five states taking away a, a great feeling of one of the best cross-country courses in the United States. Patterson says that the revenue this event generates is essential for the surrounding businesses in Terre Haute. Well, it's huge. I mean, you know, it helps pay the bills, uh, you know, run, whether it's from concessions or parking or whatever. Whatever, but uh, you know the swirl of, of money that this creates for for the center, uh, for the hotels, for the restaurants, the retail outlets. The the swirl of money that this creates in our community is just huge. From the competition side, Coach David Worcester says he's pleased to be able to compete against teams from different states. It's a great cu culmination of the whole season. A great course out here. Weather's not the greatest, um, especially after the last few weeks. It was really good weather, but, um, you know, we get to compete against teams from other states. Patterson says that he hopes this cross-country course continues to have a global presence. You know, I love it. I mean, the fact that, that we have a national and then even an international presence when we have the collegiate meets, we've had, gosh, had, you know, several dozen go on to, to run in the Olympics. Uh, you know, it's really impressive what these young people do, the accomplishments and, and how hard they work. This was the last cross-country event of the year at the Laverne Gibson cross-country course.